going on YouTube? The weather down here right now is just exquisite. It's like in the high 60s or 70s. Nice cool breeze. Sun's out, clear skies. I just had the ride. I can't go to the gym this week because uh, I just had a tattoo work done on my arm uh, yesterday. So I gotta refrain. I gotta refrain from lifting for about a week. I'm actually going right now to Whole Foods. I gotta pick up some tea tree oil and you know, some distilled water or whatever. And uh, it's stuff for my it's stuff for my hair. But I figured, why not motovlog now? I'm happy go lucky right now, but what I wanted to talk about is actually kind of kind of a somber, kind of sad, I guess, subject over this past weekend. Without spilling any like too much detail and stuff in respect of him and his family and whatnot. A fellow rider here in Houston who's very well loved in the community, very active in the community, passed away. Um, they were doing a group ride. Uh, he fell behind, he was trying to catch up, and a car pulled out in front of him that wasn't paying attention. Uh, he died of his injuries at the at the hospital later on. Rest in peace, and ride in paradise. I guess what I wanted to talk to you about, I noticed on the Facebook page that a lot of his friends, a lot of other active members of the community were talking about quitting riding because of how, you know, how much this event shook them. I gotta say, I don't necessarily agree with that. Now, everyone deals with things like this on like their own way. If you honestly really feel like you have to quit riding because someone very close to you, you know, got seriously injured or worse yet, you know, passed away because of it, then, you know, so be it. If that's what your heart's telling you, then so be it. I personally don't have a lot of friends who ride, so I'm not really I have a few friends, yes, but I'm still new to riding and all that, so I haven't really gained a lot of uh, bike life relations, I guess you could say. I actually got here a lot faster than I thought I would. But yeah, let me continue this after I get what I need to get. I'm back, got what I needed. So, I didn't know him personally, but I do know, just judging from posts and stuff like that, that he was a good dude. Really, really good friend to a lot of people. And it's it's sad to see such a, you know, he's also former military, it's sad to see a, such a upstanding person is gone. Well, what I wanted to get at is quitting, quitting the bike life, quitting riding because you or, in this case, someone really close to you are severely hurt or passed away. And that's your prerogative if you wanna quit because of, uh, because of this. But doing that makes it seem like it's the bike's fault. You know, it's not the bike's fault. It's not even the car's fault. It's the driver behind the, behind the car that's the fault. I don't know. I haven't experienced something like this so I can't really say, but at the same time, I can't, at this point in my life, I can't see myself quitting riding. I can't l see myself living with that fear, you know? That's no way to live. You can't stop yourself from doing something you love because something happened to a person that you knew. I mean, that person isn't you. I feel for anyone who's lost someone this way, I really do. I was former military and I have, I've lost a couple, quite a few guys, either to uh, an enemy across the seas or an enemies in their head. I just, that's just how I see it. I feel like making such a rash decision is like blaming, blaming bikes, blaming the bike. And it's just that uh, I've grown to love riding so much, like motorcycles, bikes, riding, like it's all a part of me now. I just, I just can't not do it. I just can't see myself just not doing it. If you really are sketched about riding now because of such a thing like this, there are other options. You can give up street riding and then just go pure track or pure dirt with a MotoGP, motocross, you know. 
you could just but to just give up riding altogether that's just that's ridiculous I, I just find it kind of ridiculous I feel like it's a rash decision I'd say but like what do you guys think like if y'all any of y'all watching want to leave a comment if you've and I'm asking people who have experienced such a loss personally or have not and just have an opinion about it I mean go ahead leave it in the comments this is a quick moto vlog just thought it was a that was a decent subject to uh to, to bring up to touch up on so yeah I mean so thanks for watching like subscribe share all that good stuff if you want and uh Catch y'all on the next video.